let me share two things today. First, a big thank you for all the support you have given Optica over the last year. Together, we are building a larger global industry network to promote and defend the interest of next generation photonics. Second, are you active in medical markets? Do you manufacture photonic devices for remote health monitoring? I'm talking about wearables, DNA sequencers or breath analyzers? If so, mark January 17th in your agenda. It was back in August 2021 that Rockley Photonics rang the bell on the New York Stock Exchange. So we're making chips that are processing, sensing, and communicating information optically as opposed to electronically. By building patented silicon photonics-based laser technology into a new generation of small, modular sensors, they claim to significantly expand the range of biomarkers that can be detected and measured non-invasively by wearable devices. So, what has happened in the meantime? And more important, how can we, the Photonics family, accelerate the rollout of their unique sensing platform? Is there a demand for semiconductor lasers, micro-optics, specialty fiber for endoscopy, photonic integrated circuits, if you ask me? I would say yes, but let's ask some of the main stakeholders and get their insights. On Tuesday, January 17th, our online industry meeting is on photonics for medical devices. And yes, Rockley Photonics will be there, represented by Kate Bechtel. What do they need for their next stage of development? And joining them, we will welcome PacBio. They develop and manufacture systems for rapid gene sequencing essential for fundamental biological research. PacBio describes its platform as Single Molecule Real-Time Sequencing, SMRT, based on the properties of zero-mode waveguides. Optica friend Gloria Hoofler will tell us how we can help her. Meanwhile, in Europe, glucose monitoring for diabetes is moving towards no-needle measurement thanks to Diamond Tech, this German startup has attracted more than $20 million in funding to pioneer non-invasive blood glucose measurements using their patented photothermal detection technology. On January 17th, we'll get an update on their progress. They operate in the mid-infrared. So how does the quantum cascade laser roadmap and their mid infrared technologies match their ambitions? And when it comes to breath analyzers, we have been shocked by the fast developments of the German company Halitos. Joanna Paiva and medical doctor Sven Jungmann will demonstrate why laser spectroscopy is key to teaching machines to smell your breath for diagnostic clues, and they want to make their technology handheld. Of course, we need to talk about optical coherence tomography and ophthalmic applications. Adam Wax from Lumerica Vision will illustrate the use of OCT to screen for early signs of eye disease. This is a device we built in my lab at Duke University. We have a patent on it. It's portable, weighing in four pounds. Highly affordable, the cost of goods is $5,000 on that. So if you want to help us unveil emerging business opportunities in leading edge medical photonics, join us on Tuesday, January 17th at 10 a.m. in Washington and 4 p.m. in Berlin for the next Optica Online Industry Meeting. Let's make the world a healthier place. And it all starts with an early diagnosis.